Hello everyone. As we finish the second week of term, I want to say well done. I think we've made a great start to the term and I'm really pleased at the levels of engagement which we're seeing in lessons. You should know, and I hope you've seen, that your teachers are working hard to use a range of tools and techniques to keep things interesting and accessible for you. Make sure you keep up this motivation and momentum in the weeks ahead, please. Now, one of the things which will help you to do this is to use the time when you're not required to be in school activity in a purposeful and positive fashion. If we're not careful, it's all too easy for the time we have just to slip away and be wasted without the structure of the normal school day with sport, music, drama, D of E or CCF and so on, and then prep to do. You have actually a few hours of time once lessons have finished. I wonder how many of you slip into a rather static state looking at your phones, chatting about not very much with your friends on social media, or exploring not very substantial videos on YouTube or TikTok or, or watching Netflix. And when you do that, how satisfied do you feel at the end of the day? Really, be honest. I find that if I'm not purposeful, intentional about my use of time, it just goes. And for me, YouTube is a bit of a black hole. It draws me in and very quickly an hour has gone by. Well, nothing wrong with that, you might say, but if I let it happen each day, and I could quite easily, then an hour a day means 365 hours per year, which is the equivalent of 22 16-hour days. In that time, I'll have learned a bit, but most of that time has just been wasted. It's gone forever. Social media has value in keeping in touch with friends. But how much of the chat is actually necessary or purposeful or positive? If you spend three hours a day looking at your phone, that's more than a thousand hours per year, or 68, 16 hour days, more than two months, every year. Time that, for the most part, has just been wasted. It's gone forever. The Bible contains the book of Proverbs, a collection of advice about how to live well. And one of the characters we meet quite often is the sluggard. The sluggard is an idle, lazy person. And the writer is clear that the sluggard will come to nothing because essentially he's not willing to use the time he has productively. Take these verses, for example. The sluggard does not plough in the autumn. He will seek at harvest and have nothing. The desire of the sluggard kills him, for his hands refuse to labour. He wonders why he has nothing to show at harvest time. But the reason is he's not put his hands to the plough earlier in the year. His desire for ease and comfort and his refusal to work at his crops literally kills him because he has no food to eat. Or take these. The sluggard says, there's a lion in the road. There's a lion in the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so does a sluggard on his bed. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. It wears him out to bring it back to his mouth. He makes up fanciful excuses to avoid having to get up and instead rolls over on the sofa or his bed. How easy it is for us to bury our hand in the social media dish and to leave it there as the time just runs away. Now, don't misunderstand me. I know it's hard work working remotely and it's important to keep in touch with friends. Things which entertain us can restore and refresh us. So I'm not saying don't do any of that. But I do think it's important to keep track of the time we spend on these things. Someone once told me that no matter how busy I was, I could always find 15 minutes in each day to do something which I wanted to do, such as reading a book or learning a new skill or doing something for someone else. 15 minutes a day doesn't sound very much, does it? But again, if you add it up over the year, it comes to just over 91 hours about the same amount of teaching time that a GCSE subject is allocated in your timetables. That's quite a lot. I guarantee that you will make progress at whatever you wish if you're prepared to put 15 minutes each day towards it. I use this approach myself in working towards five of the higher grades on two instruments in five years. It really does work. So please have a think about your use of the time after lessons have finished each day during this lockdown period. How purposeful and positive is it, really? If you find that actually you waste quite a lot of time, what could you achieve if you redeemed just 15 or 30 minutes of it each day?
How much difference could an extra 15 minutes spent on your least strong subject make to your understanding of it? What new skill have you wanted to learn that you could if you just spent 15 minutes each day on it? What impact on your relationships would it make if you spent 15 minutes doing something to help others in some way each day? Let's not fall into the trap of being sluggards during this time. Now with that in mind, I'd like to invite you to join me in a short prayer. Almighty God, thank you for the gift of time and in spite of the challenges, the opportunities which the present lockdown offers us. Please help us to be mindful of how we use our time and to have the discipline to do so in a positive and beneficial way. Guide us to things which we could be doing that will make a difference. At this difficult time, we pray for the government and for all those who are involved in caring for patients with COVID or the National Vaccination Programme. Please give our leaders wisdom and equip everyone with the skills, energy and compassion they need. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ and for your glory. Amen. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend.